All right, let's talk about our summer right now. We're in the middle of summer and you've probably noticed there are more and more people out on the water this year. Yeah, not not right at this exact moment. Yeah, maybe not there. Uh, but uh, Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue tell us they've been busier than ever. Our Lindsay Nadrich went out with the water rescue team today to find out what you need to know. I'm here on the Lower Willamette with Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue. They took us out today to show us how they train for water rescues because they say they've seen a huge uptick in rescues this year. Man overboard! This is a scenario that's playing out a lot more often on our rivers and lakes. With the hotter than normal weather and people finding new activities because of the pandemic, Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue says they're seeing more people than ever out on the waterways. And because of that, on hot days, they say they're getting multiple calls a day for help. I think there's been more emergencies um, probably in the last six months to a year, more drownings, more deaths than, than normal. The team trains constantly to be ready for all types of calls, but also says there are things you can do to stay safe in the water. For example, swim with a buddy, know how long you'll be out, stay hydrated, limit your alcohol consumption, and pay attention to landmarks so if you do get into trouble, you can tell rescuers where to find you. The faster they can get to you, the better. And if you fall into the river, keep your feet forward going downstream so you can watch for any hazards or rocks and use your feet to push off of them. Again, because the water is just so busy this year, firefighters say it's especially important to pay attention to your surroundings, be aware of other boats, other swimmers, and most importantly, always wear your life jacket. Reporting in Westland, I'm Lindsay Natter, Point Six News.